everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to be here can we believe it's already 2021 when you're watching this video it's gonna be january 1st so i hope you're excited i decided to do something that's been going around the youtube world for a really long time and honestly this should have been one of my first videos but i don't know i wasn't comfortable enough sitting down and speaking so now is the time I'm going to film it. I'm going to be doing the get to know me tag. 20 questions. They're random. Found some questions online. So if you see me looking this way, it's because my iPad is here and I have the questions here. I will also be putting the questions up on the screen for you. And let's jump right in. But before we do that, I decided to do this kind of like while doing my makeup and of course while drinking coffee. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so question number one says, where did you grow up? Now this is a funny question. So if you know me, you know that I was born in the States. I was born in New York, Queens, Elmer's Hospital to be exact. But when I was really young, my parents took me back to Mexico. That's where they're from. And I lived there up until I was seven years old. So I kind of grew up in Mexico and then I came to the States. So it kind of depends what you're asking. But that's the first question. Question number two. Where do you currently live? The irony of life is I currently live in Queens, New York, and it's actually up the block from the hospital that I was born. Question number three, who is your first best friend? So back to the story when I came from Mexico, I remember that I made a friend, it wasn't in second grade, it was in third grade, and she was this girl, her name was Jennifer, and she was my first best friend. Mind you, I was still learning English, so it was kind of hard to like communicate, but we were both in ESL and she was Chinese, so it was kind of funny communicating, but she was literally one of my first friends and kind of sad, I don't, I don't keep in touch, so I don't know where she is now, but Jennifer, if you ever see this, hi. Okay. Question number four, how tall are you? So, I am actually not as small as I may look, or maybe I look tall, and maybe I'm not as tall as I may look. I'm 5'6", so I'm definitely a lot taller than most girls, but I'm not the tallest girl you'll ever meet. Question number five. Dogs or cats? Well, I'm going to be biased and say dogs all the way. I do like cats, but... Dogs just hold a special spot in my heart. I think they are angels on earth and we don't deserve them. Question number six. Funniest moments through high school. Well, I'm one of those people that I generally hated high school. I was really awkward. I was a nerd. So it was not pleasant. But I, when that question was asked... Or when I read that question, it made me immediately think of all the times I embarrassed myself. So it was funny, but it wasn't funny for me at the time. So I remember one time I was taking the bus to school and the bus stopped really abruptly. And I just so happened to fly to the front of the bus and I busted my so badly that I just wanted to die. All right, so on to question number seven. What year were you born? I'm about to age myself. I was born in 1991. So that makes me 29 years old. Question number eight. Are you in, have you gone to college? So yes, I've gone to college and I am currently in college. I am doing my master's in early childhood education, so that's fun. What is your favorite drink? That's question number nine. 
All right, so, I mean, if you would have asked me this question when I first turned 21, I definitely would have said a margarita. But as I've gotten older, I definitely don't enjoy sugary drinks. They give me a headache. And in general, I'm not a big fan of drinking anymore. So my drink of choice is a White Claw, the black cherry kind. 10, what is your spirit animal and why? Ooh, that's a hard question. Um, Honestly, the first animal that just came to mind was a lion. And I feel that that's my spirit animal because it's very fierce and in charge. And not that that is how I am now, but that is what I want to be. And that's what I'm striving for. So that was question number 10. Question 11, you're wearing perfume. What scent is it? So I have this perfume bottle. Actually, let me go get it right now. One second. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I have a perfume bottle. This is from YSL. I don't remember the exact name for it, but I love this bottle because my husband got it custom painted for my birthday. I think it was like two years ago. So I don't really use perfume very often, but when I do, this is literally my favorite scent. It's a YSL one. I just don't remember the name of it. On to the next question. Question number 12 says, tea or coffee? I love coffee. That's what I'm drinking right now. But I also really like tea. But if I had to choose, I'd have to pick coffee like a hundred times. Question number 13. What are your life goals? Oh, that, that's a, a question, huh? Well, you see, I have such a hard time answering these kind of questions because I feel like I'm one of those people that I like to do a lot of things, but I don't have one specific passion that I feel like I'm working for. So my goals change very constantly but since it's a new year i'm trying to hone down on my wants and my needs and what it is that i want out of life and i think my number one life goal is to find a balance and i freaking hate that word because all my life i grew up Hearing my mother tell me, you got to find balance in your life. You can't be either this or that. You got to find a middle. And that's always stressed me out because I am an all or nothing kind of person. And I really wish that I could find that balance. So definitely I would like to have that for the new year. And that's what I'm going to be working on. And I think I definitely want to have my own home. That's a goal of mine. Uh, you know, launch my career. I'm currently a substitute teacher, but I would love to be a full-time teacher. And I'm going to get there. And I definitely want a house with a big backyard so that I can have more dogs. And I don't know. It's just I have so many goals and they change so often that I just need to stick to one thing and finish it. That is why I'm doing my master's right now. Because I started it and now I need to finish it. And I'm notorious for starting a lot of things and finishing nothing. That was a long question. Question number 14. What sports do you play or have you played? So this is a funny question. Back in the day when I was young and limber. <laughs> I used to do Taekwondo and I did it for many years. And I really liked it. But, you know, because I said I was a very studious girl and I still am, I had to stop doing that because I couldn't do all the AP classes in high school and also study for the exams for the belts in Taekwondo. It was like, it was just not gonna happen for me. So I definitely dropped out of the Taekwondo Academy, tried to go back later on in life and it didn't really work out the way that I planned. Have any books you read changed your life? That's question number 15. So I'm gonna be honest and say that when I was younger, I used to love reading books, but lately, I don't know. I just haven't read any books, so I can't say that any book has 
drastically changed my life for the better. I want to start reading books and that's one of my goals for 2021. I want to get more into reading, more into like those kind of like self-help kind of books. And I don't know, I just, I haven't found a book that calls to me. I'm those kind of people that I like when a book feels like I'm having a conversation with somebody. So maybe I should try doing the audiobooks and that would go better for me. Question number 16. What is your favorite movie? So first movie that came to mind is The Notebook. I am a giant sap. I love sappy love movies. Those are like literally my favorite kind of movies of all time. I have watched The Notebook like I think over a hundred times. I'm not even exaggerating. Another favorite movie of mine is definitely Mean Girls. I know that freaking movie back and forth. I've watched that one almost a hundred times. What's another movie that comes to mind? Wonder Woman. I need to watch the new one. All right, number 17. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Oof. I have one too many. I follow way too many YouTube channels. Definitely Manny MUA. Laura Lee. Um, Mikey. What is that? Glam and Gore? I mean, she hasn't came out with any new videos, but definitely love her. Bailey Sarian. She does makeup murder at Mondays. Something like that. Great stuff. Um, who else do I really enjoy watching? Ryland Adams. Morgan Adams. Um, the Try Guys. Uh, who else do I like to watch? Wow, this is hard. Like doing your makeup and answering questions. I keep getting caught up. Um, there's so many more other YouTubers. And of course, my beauty gals from the beauty community that I have here that I collaborated with. Love them all the most. Um, question number 18. Do you speak any languages and how well? So obviously I speak English and I think I speak it okay. I have a lot of trouble with like stuttering. I have a lazy tongue so I trip over it a lot. I do speak Spanish as well. And I, could, I mean I can say I'm definitely fluent in Spanish but I get really self-conscious when I hear somebody that speaks Spanish better than me and then I'm embarrassed and I start second guessing myself. Pero si, yo hablo español muy bien. Question number 19. Well, it says, are you single or are you taken? As you can tell from my coffee mug, I am a wife, so definitely taken. And uh, my last question is, Number 20, how many siblings do you have? So I have two siblings. I have two brothers. One, Kenneth, is 26. And then my other brother, the little one that came out in a video with me, another shameless plug. You can watch it in the I or down below. It's going to be linked. Um, he's 11. And those are all the questions that I have for today and uh, I'm still not done with my makeup so I'll be right back. Alright my friends I am back and this is the makeup look I came up with. If you are interested in the products I used I will be linking them also down below. I hope I remember to link everything that I said I was going to link but thank you so much for watching. I hope that this new year brings you Peace, joy, prosperity, health, and wealth to all of you that are watching. And thank you so much for supporting me and showing me love. Give me a like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, still give me a like because I appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel before you leave. Bye!